Tonight, an interview with Donald Trump. Some polls say he is closing in on Hillary Clinton with 12 days to go before the vote. Mr. Trump joins us now from Ohio. So let's begin with the rigged business. How exactly do you think the election is rigged? Well, the system is rigged, Bill. You look at the media, how horrible they are, how false they are, how negative they are toward me. I think 93% of the stories they write are like negative, even if it's a positive story, they'll always find a way to make it negative. And, uh, you know, I'm not quite used to it because I used to get great publicity. Now, no matter what you do, it doesn't make any difference. But the system is rigged. And I think the biggest rigging of all is what's happened with the FBI and the Justice Department with respect to Hillary Clinton, because she is so guilty in so many different ways that she shouldn't even be allowed to run for president. So right there, the system is okay. really rigged. She what should not the, be allowed to run for president. What about the vote itself? Um, you know, it's close in a lot of states here. It's very, very close. And, and a lot of your supporters are worried, and they write me, uh, that they think there might be uh, nefarious things going on at individual polling places. Can you reassure him that that's probably not going to be the case? Will you do that tonight? I, I can reassure him. I think things are going on that aren't good. And I think uh, you look at Texas, a lot of calls were made from Texas, an incredible place. I love Texas. And the lines are massive, and they were talking about... Uh, flipping, you know, where they press a button and they press it for me and another name comes up named uh, But do we have Hillary any data Clinton. on that? Do we have any facts on that? You know, anybody No, can they just call in. No, they call in. Actually, they called into Fox. You, Fox has received a lot of those calls. Yeah, but, but the I, other I, thing I don't is have you look at facts to back up any well, kind of wide conspiratorial way to I've been hearing for years Bill, I've been here for years about Philadelphia, Chicago, St. Louis, lots of other places. Yeah, there have and been you know, documented things there. But on a well, mass for years level, I've been hearing. on a mass level, you don't believe that the 120 million American votes that the thing's going to be dishonest. Do you, do, do you believe that? Well, I looked at Pew Research, highly respected, and there are 1.8 million people who are dead who are registered to vote, and some of those people vote. So I wonder how that happens. All right. There but are 2.8 million. Wait a minute, Bill. There are 2.8 million people who are registered in two states. Uh, that's not so good. That means you vote in two states. I, I mean, there are things that are going on, Bill. I watched President Obama eight years ago on Fox, actually, just the other night. But I watched President Obama eight years ago talking about how Chicago is rigged. That's basically, he was doing it with a wink. But he was essentially saying that well, the elections the, in the Chicago in are rigged. The city. Now, mentioning uh, President Obama. Well, he here, actually said it happened. Here's what his wife said today in North Carolina. Go. When you hear folks talking about a global conspiracy and saying that this election is rigged, understand that they are trying to get you to stay home. They are trying to convince you that your vote doesn't matter, that the outcome has already been determined and you shouldn't even bother making your voice heard. They are trying to take away your hope. Well, what do you think about that? Well, her husband did it eight years ago. Her husband said basically those same words eight years ago, complaining about the system in Chicago and laughing about it. And I think he says something to the effect like he's lucky he's in Chicago because it's rigged in his favor. Well, take a look at it. I saw it on Fox and I thought it was terrible, especially since now he's holier than thou. And, you know, like a thing like this could never happen. But go back eight years when he was running for the All first right. time. But and you'll see some pretty, pretty is, nasty statements. Her message is that you're undermining the desire of people to vote. Do you buy that? I think the opposite. Uh, in Florida, there are f lines that are record lines. They've never had anything like it. Four blocks long to vote. In uh, other places, I hear in different places, I'm hearing reports that are incredible. I hope they're voting for me, but I think they're voting for me. They have a lot of Trump caps on that, I can tell you. But they have record lines. So we're going to see what happens. Right. I'm right now I'm in Ho I, I am right now in Ohio, Ohio yep. and I, I'll tell you what. It's incredible, the enthusiasm and the crowds and the, the whole thing. It's incredible. Yeah, you're slightly, uh, great in according, according to polls, you're slightly out in front in Ohio. Um, now, do you believe the polls are rigged? Do you think certain news organizations and other organizations, uh, when they poll, uh, have their thumb on the scale and they, they want Hillary Clinton to come out on top in the poll? Do you believe that? Oh, absolutely. I have no doubt about it. Which look, ones? Uh, I won, look, I won the third debate. Easily. It wasn't even a contest. And everybody had me winning. Every poll had me winning big league. And then CNN did a poll and they had me losing somewhat. 
And I said, how did that happen? I wonder. And then there were uh, other polls that were, look, I mean, I, I'm winning in certain polls. And then in other polls, the dirty polls, we call them, I was losing by, uh, you know, numbers that were ridiculous. Yeah, I have all I the think polls I'm, here. I, I mean, I think we're winning, but, but Bill, you look at some of these polls, it's absolutely ridiculous. But uh, is ABC there, is had there, are there any in particular that you think are uh, dishonest? Any polling in particular? I mean, the AP yeah, has got you down. I think, I think the AP the, has got you down no, by 14. Think, well, AP. 14. Well, AP treats down. me very badly. And, and by the way, ABC had me down at 12, yeah. which was ridiculous. And now I hear at ABC we're down by very, very little. Well, because, that's a you know, tracking poll. Their latest, by a lot of people. ABC ladies tracking poll is Clinton up by three. Um, six, I'm sorry, six. Uh, the Fox News poll. No, well, now it's much. Now it's much lower than that. But wh how do you go from how do you go from twelve down to two and three? Uh, I, I don't know. In honey. a day or two, I can barely uh, add to. No, 20. look, yeah, these I, polls. Know. I don't know. These polls. Look, the only one I really like are the ones where I'm winning. But but these <laughs> well, polls. You're honest, but these polls are yeah. definitely. Right. Hey, hey, Bill, something's going on. Bill, something's going on with the polls. But, and but, what they do, it's called suppression. Okay, but if something's going on, it's incumbent upon all responsible politicians in this country to get the facts and present the facts because speculation can erode spirit and can erode credibility of the election. So that's what that's my well, I think here. it's very unfair and it's polls, whether it's polls for, for the debates where I won the debates or if it's polls for something else. I mean, there's tremendous dishonesty in the polls. I've never seen anything like All it. Right, well, a tremendous. We got to find that we got to we'll, we're definitely the day after the debate. We're going to I mean, the, the election, we're going to analyze who was accurate and who was Well, that's the poll that matters. That's gonna, the only poll that matters. We're going to hold you over. I want to talk a little Obamacare with you. Uh, and then the Talking Points memo. More information about the Clinton Foundation. Some of it troubling. Factors coming right back. Now with Mr. Trump, who is in Ohio uh, this evening. Now, uh, we'll get to Obamacare in a moment. I got one more question about the campaigning. Do you believe you would be ahead if not for the Access Hollywood stuff? I just don't know. I think it was very negative. It was locker room talk. Uh, the microphone was not supposed to be on. Not that I make that as an excuse for myself, but certainly it was an illegal act that was NBC. Uh, it was not supposed to be on. You think it was illegal uh, what they guess, did, putting that tape out? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, that was a private locker. You know, that was a private dressing room. Uh, yeah, that was Are you going to take any illegal. action after no the election against NBC? Well, you'll see. You'll see. Well, you're going to see after the election. Might. But I will. I will. I will tell you, first of all, shouldn't have been said, but it was, you know, it was locker room talk. And yeah, I mean, you know, we're going to find out soon enough, I will tell you. All right. Uh, Obamacare, um, not doing well. I think any measure, any fair minded person would say uh, a lot of Americans are getting hurt. You have to pay more for their premiums, more deductibles. They're getting their choices of doctors filed down. It doesn't seem, though, that the Democratic base, which wanted Obamacare so much, cares. They, they don't seem to care. You don't see an outrage building on the left about Obamacare. I'm wondering if you know why that is. I think they care. I think people care. I think people are getting wiped out. The state of Arizona, which is just an amazing place. I'm going there in two days. The great state of Arizona, 116 percent increase. I think they're going to care when they actually see the bills start pouring in. Uh, and the numbers they gave, you know, 24, 25 percent increase. I don't believe that. I think the minimum is going to be 40 percent and 50 percent. Yeah, I think the people are going to care. All right. Can you tell me simply, because, you know, I'm a simple man and have trouble grasping uh, complicated situations. You say you're going to um, revoke and replace Obamacare. I know you want to have insurance companies compete nationwide and no boundaries, and that would drive premiums down. What else? What else? Are you going to subsidize like, 30 million people yeah, who can't uh, afford insurance? Are you going to help them out? I like the concept of health care savings accounts. I think it's great. You must get rid of the boundaries between the states so that we have competition. Because right now you'll have competition. But what you'll about have the one insurance company people, or two. You know, one, one of the reasons the Obamacare okay, thing is, is going through the roof is because there are 30 million Americans that have trouble doing anything. They can't work. They don't work. Whatever. And now the Obama administration is giving them free health care. Will you continue that? All right. So, the, well, I view it as I view it as two groups. I mean, the people that can afford it, it will be much lower, much better, much lower price, and, and really phenomenal. There'll be tremendous competition. And by the way, there'll be plans that you're not even talking about right now because the competition will make great plans, but much lower price, much better. Now, 
you're going to block grant Medicaid to the states, and they're going to take care of the people that cannot take care okay, of it. Okay, so cannot the states help it. Really I mean, they, get the responsibility to do that, not the Absolutely. Feds. You right. block grant the You block grant to the states the Medicaid, and it'll work out so much better than what we have right now. Maybe. This is a nightmare. Hey, Bill, I have friends that are doctors. They have more accountants than they have nurses. Yeah, they're gonna I, leave. Listen, they don't even want to be doctors anymore. I, I don't, they don't I've never be been a big anymore. fan of government uh, health care. Now, finally, you say that Hillary Clinton is uh, pooped. She's tired. She can't. Uh, what are you saying now about her? She, she's exhausted or what? what I, I didn't quite understand I think that. I think she is very low energy. I think low we energy. need somebody with so extreme who's energy. Who's lower energy, but, Jeb Bush or Hillary Clinton? Well, I'm not sure. That's pretty close, but I would probably say Hillary. All right, I so mean, I saw her after the second debate, and she could barely make it to the car. Yeah. This is not what we want. Hey, Bill, this is not what we want to negotiate with China, to beat ISIS, to work against Putin, okay? This is not what well, we want. Well, her birthday was yesterday. Well, who knows? She's Let's see what happens. Though. I think we're doing very well. Yeah, she's okay. She's all Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Look, uh, look, there's something going on, and, and I don't know what's happening, but I can tell you this is a... She goes away for three, four, five days, and she doesn't leave the house, and then she comes back. And the interesting thing is, I had eight stops over the last day, and funny, she said, yesterday we opened a great hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue. I went to cut a ribbon real quick. She said, Donald Trump is off the path, okay? You know, off the path. Give me a break. Um, <laughs> it's probably the first time I've done anything outside of this, like in a month. But, you know, I wanted to check on the work. We built a great hotel. Uh, by the way, under budget, ahead of schedule. All that right. was one of the reasons I wanted to be there. Under budget, and ahead, ahead of schedule. Of this country schedule. does not do that. All right. And well, we really appreciate it. We know how busy you are. It's fine. I hope you'll come back next week, the last week, and uh, talk to us again, Mr. Good. Trump. Thank you very I much. I will. All right. I will.